and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to be riding the aerial rider grizzly i'm going to hop on right now and haven't ridden it for a little bit so i thought i'd get it out today and go for a ride on the grizzly and off we go so today let's talk about riding in windy conditions because that's what it is here right now we've got a pretty good wind and as I shoot this video just after noontime about well, I'll say about 12:30 in the afternoon uh, we are 44 degrees here and windy the wind chill it feels like uh, 37 with the wind so we have a pretty good wind up right now so I want to talk about riding in windy conditions so going in the direction I am now we're fine it's not bad because the wind is the other going the other direction but uh, riding into the wind or sometimes it's a swirling wind can be difficult uh, as now I hit some wind I can feel it uh, and what I mean by that first of all riding into it is tough on the bike it's obviously going to use more power and it can be a little uh, tricky in keeping your balance as well uh, I've had times when the wind feels like it's kind of knocking me around a little bit to where I have to be careful uh, balancing the bike because it can be a little bit tricky with the wind sometimes those wind gusts come up you know and they and they can really uh, move you for sure but yeah it, it's I mean it's windy but I'm still fine to go for a ride but it's really bad when you get a combination of wind and rain and right at the moment we're not raining here but they are talking about thunder and rain and uh, hail and the whole bit so for the next couple of days so uh, I thought I'd get out now since I'm home from work a little bit earlier today I thought I'd get out and shoot a video before the weather gets too crazy and I wanted to talk just about riding in the wind and how tricky it can be. And sometimes it depends on your bike too. If you've got a, a lighter bike, I got to think that would uh, affect you uh, too as uh, far as throwing you around. So let me know uh, in the comments if you've had any situations riding in wind where you've had anything happen or are you fine to ride in the wind or as now I'm going into it or have you uh, had situations where you just said no I'm not riding today I mean there'll be situations for me like that where I probably do the wind if it's like a really stiff wind probably would avoid it riding uh, under extreme uh, wind but it's just one of the elements I don't mind the wind just that today it's making it feel cold hitting you in the face and it's especially bad like I say when it's raining and the wind is blowing at you in your face you definitely definitely want to have eye protection I think you want to have eye protection whenever you're riding a bike because not only do you have like rain and wind but in the summer you can have the other uh, the other bugaboo and that's bugs uh, flying into your uh, face or into your mouth 
or up your nose or whatever so uh kind of gross you don't want that happening So we're coming up to a Canadian flag there on the right. The American flag right there, but the Canadian flag would be my country where I'm from. I don't know how much difference the wind makes in uh, battery consumption, but I got to think it makes a difference. For sure, the resistance of riding through that wind. It's always a good day when you can get out for a ride on an e-bike for sure. And I'm not going to complain today because I like the fact today that the roads are dry. You can hear the hum of that grizzly motor right there. I don't know if you if it picked it up on the microphone, but I believe that gentleman that was there walking his dog I heard him say that's cheating I don't know if he was talking about me or about something else but I guess the fact that it's an electric bike and not a traditional pedal bike and I'm not pedaling at the moment I guess in his eyes that's cheating but am I cheating what am I cheating toward uh, I'm not sure what he means if he does in fact mean me and cheating I'm cheating as a pretending to be a bike rider is that what he's saying I don't know but anyway it doesn't matter everybody as long as you're not riding crazy uh, you can ride any way you want, whether it's pedaling, no pedaling, or pedal assist. Now, I don't know if the microphone is picking up any of the wind at all, but I'm definitely going right here, right into the wind. Windscreen, I think, does a pretty good job on the uh, on the GoPro. And if you don't have a windscreen on your GoPro or whichever camera you're using, I would highly recommend using one. They do a, a great job in cutting down the wind noise. going to put both motors on here for a moment.
just say that no matter which bike I'm on when I'm riding it's hard to get off you know once you get on you get riding around it's so much fun that you just hate to get off of it and that that's the way I feel right now I don't want to get off I know it's cold but it's so much fun to ride that it's hard to get off the bike. I don't know if you all out there are the same as me, I bet you are, and, and you know what I mean. Checking my battery, I'm at 68%. I've got both batteries on. They weren't fully charged when I left for this ride. I don't know what my percentage was now. I think 78 and I'm at 68 now. going to do it for this video on the channel talking a little bit about riding in windy conditions so if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below if you'd like to or if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I thank you uh, very much for doing that. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just go ahead and hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified as to when the next video is up on Oregon E-Biker Mark. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, take care.